Oh, hell no, nah, twin. You gotta lock up, twin, bro. This not even you, twin. On phone on grade, bro. Welcome, class, to Intro to Physics. In our first unit, we will be talking about superposition, a phenomenon that governs a player's progression through Hypixel Skyblock no matter if they have a net worth of 500 million coins or 500 billion coins. Items in Skyblock have arbitrary means of existence and have states that may violate the binary existence or non-existent rules that we're familiar with. I mean, how do you think we've seen numerous duplication glitches throughout the 426 years that Hypixel Skyblock has lasted, you fossil? According to the server, duplicated items exist and have probably made sizable effects in the economy. But where were they when they, uh, haven't? Did it manifest into existence, disproving the law of conservation of matter? Did Wizard Man bring conjuration magic into the game the same way you summon mobs? Have they always existed? For that last one, perhaps. Quantum mechanics suggest that when this inferno vertex's position isn't defined in a chess slot, or in other words, observed, nobody can explain why and how the object is in there until we can see it. During this time, the item is in multiple states. It's in the chest, it's not in the chest, it's living, it's dead, it's instead an inferno apex, it's in your dreams. I like to call the vertex's coexistences and co non existences a limbo or a quantum state. Only when I open this chest do the vertexes come into definite reality. Wait, did I just expose myself or doobing? This phenomenon is explored with opening dungeons and cruder chests after a run, where every possible drop from the respective loot pool is there and not there until you click the chest and be disappointed, with expensive books hidden behind dies in the experimentation table, where you have no idea what you'll get until you give them a click, with killing slayer bosses in the likely or unlikely chance that their pockets contain the drop you want, and most popular, with a certain cat owned by Schrodinger, who when placed in a container, the cat is alive and dead with no ways of knowing and reappears into reality upon retrieving it. So the next time you feel unlucky grinding for something in Skyblock, know that it exists as a ghost in some probabilistic RNG limbo until it takes form. It already is yours as you're grinding for it as is the rest of the loot pool. The same applies to all four of your Hyperions that have been wiped due to a bug. They can sense you, waiting for the time to arrive, so they, uh... Okay, that's too far. The double slit experiment in Hypixel Skyblock. Suppose you have a Bonzo Staff that bounces when they hit off the wall. And now, suppose that you and your friend, both blindfolded, are standing in a corridor in a dungeon. On the other side of the wall is a room with two doorways leading it. Inside the room is a frozen red dragon from M7, because I fucking hate that thing. Now you and your friend start firing the Bonzo Staff at a consistent rate, one balloon per second. So, you shoot 50 total balloons, untracked, blindfolded. No one's watching where they go. No logs, no particle tracking, no server data, nothing. So, let's assume each Bonzo Staff balloon deals 1 million damage. And let's also assume that the Hyperion Implosion deals 10 million damage. Simple math says that 50 Bonzo balloons times 1 million damage equals to 50 million damage, right? Okay, so you run the test, you go in the room and check the damage, and you get a total of 500 million damage. What? That's 10 million damage per balloon. It's as if every Bonzo balloon transferred to a Hyperion implosion. Okay, so you decide to investigate. You place a third player inside the Red Dragon. They're now going to be watching the doorway and tracking every balloon that comes out of the door and hits the dragon. So you fire another 50 balloons. This time, 50 million damage, as it should be. Okay, let's try it again. And this time, we're going to blindfold the observer. With the observer now blindfolded, they can't see, but they're present in the room. So you run the test again, and the result? 500 million damage again. Whoa. Okay, somehow, when no one is observing the balloon's path and the balloon counter, the damage multiplies. It's as if they turn into Hyperion explosions. So what the experiment is telling us is that when you're observing the balloons, they act like normal Bonzo projectiles, but as soon as you take your eyes away from them, then they suddenly start acting like fucking Hyperion explosions and do 10 million damage. Weird. And that is the double slit experiment of 1801. Explain in Skyblock terms. Quantum tunneling. So in Skyblock, if you try to walk through a wall, you will see that you can't. This is because it's a fucking wall. Now, no matter how hard you try, you will not be able to break nor go through this wall. You can see that even as we try to break it, it breaks for a second and then immediately repairs. This is due to lag, but you know, whatever. Now, even if we break this, we cannot pass through. There is not a pathway. It just breaks for a second. So first, what we have to do is make our stonk go into the same state. 
For us, the wall only breaks for, you know, a second, but for anyone else, it's perfectly fine. So what if we do the same to our pickaxe? We get it on the same wavelength. Make it there for us, but no one else can see it. In quickly swapping a spirit pet and the pickaxe, we have now successfully made our ghost pick. We can now break it permanently for us, now we just need to get enough energy to pass through this barrier. Now the wall is still there, I'm still being affected by it, but for me it's just kind of in this weakened state. So once we have enough energy to break through, we have now successfully passed through the wall. Congratulations, you can now quantum tunnel. Heisenberg's Uncertainty Principle Imagine you're running through dungeons and you have your RNG meter set to, let's say, a spirit wing. While as you're going through runs and you're filling up your meter, you're narrowing the odds of getting it. There's still a chance that you can or can't get it, but it's just RNG. Now, on the final run, you have your RNG meter completely filled. You have 100% certainty of now getting that spirit wing. As you complete the run and finally, you know, get to the end, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle takes place. As you get watchdog banned for IRL trading, there can never be 100% certainty. There's always a chance for something to turn out differently than expected. Just like when my mom had me, she expected me not to be a fucking dumbass playing Minecraft. The many worlds interpretation is an interpretation of many worlds. The many worlds interpretation says that every possible outcome occurs in a separate universe. Hypixel Skyblock is, by definition, a massively multiplayer online role-playing game where your character has specific stats and makes specific decisions in order to traverse the world of Skyblock. Every single action you make in the thousands of hours of your playtime has some weight because in a parallel universe, you have gone a different direction and did an activity you could never even think of doing. But Go ask that universe's version of you. I tried it for myself, and so can you. I mean, I tried. This affects RNG as well. There is a universe where you have dropped back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back Necrons handles, and a universe where you can't even get Diamantes after a few hundred frag runs. Every single trigger for a loot pool, you have dropped one of, or every single possible combination of every single drop. For this reason, I felt like creating a few universes, so I guess I'll count the number of zealots that I could have dropped a summoning eye in before I dropped one in this universe. 2,000 years later. Okay, causing universes to split from ours into parallel ones where I killed less zealots was a good deal of fun. And elsewhere, I'm still killing zealots. Now you may think it would be more ideal for you to, under the many worlds interpretation, not have accidentally crafted that tier 12 minion, but that's unfortunately not the universe you are living in. So let's control us in our universe, shape it to our liking as much as possible. Almost like we are our own skyblock gods. That's a scary thought. I sure hope that idea never fleshes out. Parallel universes and or the multiverse. Picture this, if we want to interpret the parallel universes and or the multiverse, we can easily use the Skypixel Skyblock private island as a reference and example. Each player has their own exact island, it's not just a base, it's a closed system governed entirely by you. In fact, you have full control over almost every aspect of your own universe. Think about it, you decide what blocks you place, you decide what blocks you destroy, you decide what NPC gets to stay, you decide what NPC gets to leave, except for Jerry. Jerry is the god of Hypixel. So you control its economy, its ecosystem, the minions, you control what minions gets to live and gets to die, you make them work for you and sacrifice animals for your own little small beneficial games. In physics, we call this a pocket universe. In Skyblock, it's just, well, your island, and you are the god of this island, aka this universe. But you're not alone. There are millions of other universes, islands, each ruled by their own being. And these gods can travel. They visit other realms. They observe, rate, steal ideas. They even get to fight each other in the duels lobby. Every warp, every visit, a convergence event between parallel timelines. The farming utopia, the mining group, the dungeon tryhards, the Dante rising cult. You've seen them. You've walked among the creations of other deities. However, there are rules. You felt their presence. You feared their power. You've read their patch notes. They've ignored your ban appeals. These people are the islands. They do not rule a single island. They craft the law of the multiverse itself. The combat mechanics, the drop rates, the dungeon rooms, the petlock algorithm. But some gods rebel. They defy the drop rates. Duplicate the items in which they should not do. Cheat, exploit, macro. And for that, they are erased. Their worlds wiped from history. 
their existence reduced to mere logs and whispers on the forums. So next time you place a block, just remember, you are a god of your own universe. You can do whatever you want. But even gods must fear the ones who made the rules.